Hi friends. Today for foundations, we're going to still talk about unit 14, which is our week one list. Okay. We're talking about OU saying ow and also OW says ow. Can you say the ow sound? Great job. Okay. We're going to read a story today. This is a foundation story. It's called Ross Gets Help. Do you see the title there? Ross gets help. And when we read this story, we are going to look for those words that have O-U or O-W, just like on our spelling list. And when you see one of those words, you're going to yell out stop so that I can circle it on our story. So we're looking for O-U or O-W words that say ow. That's what we're looking for, okay? You can read along with me. When Ross was in second grade, he was having some problems with reading and spelling. He was working very hard and trying to do his best, but he thought the work was very hard. Sometimes he could not finish his papers or understand how Oh, did you hear it? How? That has O-W that says ow. To read or spell a word, he felt tired and drowsy. Do you see a word that says ow? He felt tired and drowsy. I hear it right here. Do you know what drowsy means? It's the same as tired. Like when you don't want to do anything and you're feeling kind of tired and not much energy. Kind of knocked out a little bit. He felt tired and drowsy much of the time. Each day seemed to get harder and harder. When his mother asked him how his day went, there's that word again, how, O-W, Ross wanted to shout, lousy. <clears throat> Do you see any O-U or O-W words that say ow? He wanted to shout, O-U says ow. Lousy. O-U says ow. What does lousy mean? Lousy is like not so great. So remember he was feeling tired. He was feeling drowsy. His work was really hard. Every day the work was getting harder and harder. Mom asked him how his day was and he said lousy. So Ross is not doing so well on his schoolwork. Many days he came home with a frown. Do you see it? Frown, O-W. What's a frown? Yeah, a frown is a sad face. So he's coming home from school with a frown, which I don't like. His mother wanted to see his big smile again, so she asked his teacher what she could do to help. His teacher thought that if he could get so more help after school, the work would not seem so hard. She knew Ross was a smart kid and did not want him to get further behind. Okay, so we're right here. Ross needs some extra help in second grade. No problem, right? His mom and dad are going to try to find a way for him to get help because he's feeling lousy about school being so hard. We're starting on the third paragraph. See how it's indented? That's the beginning of a new paragraph. How many paragraphs are in my story? One, two, three, four, five paragraphs. I'm on paragraph three. One, two, three. Okay, let's read. Ross's mother found a teacher who could help Ross. Do you see an O, U, or O, W, ow sound? Ross's mother found OU, says ow. Ross's mother found a teacher who could help Ross after school. Her name was Robin. Robin and Ross hit it off right from the start. Ross would go to her house three times a week and work on reading and spelling. Robin showed Ross how to tap out the sounds. Now look at this show has a OW 
but this is the OW that we learned last week that says O, oh, showed. If it was ow, the word would be showed. We know that's not a right word, the right pronunciation of the word. So this O, ow, O, W is not the spelling pattern for this week. Okay, back to the story. So Ross's mother found a teacher. Her name was Robin. He goes for tutoring with Robin. Robin showed Ross how to tap out words, tap out sounds to make reading and spelling easy. I see an OU. Let's figure out if this is the OU that we are circling this week. What sound are we learning this week? OU and OW that says, ow. Sounds. Do I circle this? Does it have an ow sound? Sounds. Yes. OU says ow in this word. So she showed, Robin showed Ross how to tap out the sounds to make reading and spelling easy. Isn't that what we do in foundations? We tap out the sounds to make reading and spelling easy. Perfect. It was not long before Ross became a whiz at reading and spelling. He learned the rules quickly and knew all of the sounds and the vowels. Here's that word again, sounds. Do you hear the ow? Is there another word in this sentence? And he knew all of the sounds and, I'm sorry, of the vowels. Do you see any other word that I can circle? Yes, vowels. Look at O-W says ow. V-owls. What are vowels? Do you remember the five vowels? Yes, A-E-I-O-U. He did not mind working after school. He seemed to enjoy it. Well, that's good. He always came with a smile and worked very hard, even if he had to miss part of his swim team. Wow, I'm proud of him. He never pouted or complained. Do you see any words I can circle? He never pouted or complained. Do you see any O-U or O-W? I do, right here. But we have to figure out if this is the right O-U and O-W. Does it say ow? P outed. Yes. We're going to circle that one. Pouted or complained. He was happy to get the help. Perfect. Robin takes Ro Robin thinks Ross is an outstanding student. Any words that we can circle? Do you see any O U or O W? Right here. Does this say ow? Outstanding. Yep, it does. Outstanding student and a great kid. As a matter of fact, he is one of the best students she has ever had. They have a fine time working together. Even with all of the hard work Ross does, they still find time to joke around and chat about sports. Find time to joke around and chat about sports. Is there any OU or OW? OU. Does it say ow? Around. Ound. Ound. Yes, around. Does say ow. And chat about sports. Before long, Ross will not need any help. He will do fine in school on his own. Do you see any OUs or OWs? Yep, I see it. O W N. Does it say ow? Own. He will do fine in school on his own. No, that is not the right vowel pair for this week. That O W says long O. Okay, we can't circle that one. Robin will miss seeing Ross, but is glad that he is doing so well. She thinks. She will always stay in touch. T-O-U-C-H-O-U. -U. Does it say out? Ouch. Nope. You know why this is in bold? Because it's a trick word. This is a trick word. T 
uch. Can't really tap it out. So for our O, U, O, W words for this week, if you want to write them down, it would be how, drowsy, we already did how, frown, lousy, shout, found, pouted, Sounds, vowels, outstanding, and around. You can write those down and study those words for this week because these are O-U and O-W put together that says the sound ow. Great job. Have a great day. We'll see you on Friday for our spelling test.